When you think of fall, what comes to mind? Perhaps roasted corn and the last of the summer harvest? Or more than likely, the pumpkin. The pumpkin has given us pie, bread, pumpkin butter, and the pumpkin spice latte. I am a lover of most things pumpkin, and surely there are enough pumpkin treats to fill more than one food vlog. But today, I am taking you on an odyssey of discovery of the almighty apple, autumn's true unsung hero. What's more American than baseball and apples? Admittedly, the apple has a sordid past as the forbidden fruit which led to mankind's banishment from paradise. And the apple industry has done little in the recent past to make the consumer covet the apple. Apple farmers have flooded the market with apples year round, while the pumpkin has the ephemeral quality of being new every fall, apples are always here. And with their surplus of product, they've bastardized the apple by drowning it in a bath of methyl anthranolate to create the Franken apple, better known to the consumer as the grapeple. Even the name is confusing. If they don't want people calling it grapple, then don't spell it that way. And let's leave that chemical where it belongs in grape Kool-Aid. I know you are thinking after so much disparaging talk about the apple, how can I possibly be able to pay it the tribute, nay, the homage it deserves? Well, I, Apple's humble servant, will attempt to do just that. To kick off our seasonal celebration, we're gonna start with the McCafe baked apple pie. You see it comes conveniently packaged with vents so that the crust does not get soggy. And I, can we just get a close up there on the, on the contents of the package? And, and it slides easily out of its cardboard packaging. And you'll notice the strudel type top. And I'm gonna crack it open so we can see what golden deliciousness lays in wait. I'm going to take a, take a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I am a connoisseur of McDonald's and have been consuming McDonald's products for basically my entire life. And they really upped the apple pie game because there never used to be these beautiful pastry top. It used to just be bam, you know, slab on the bottom, slab on the top. Um, I really think that while, while improving its look, they've maintained its taste. So I'm going to give this one uh, two thumbs up and um, I'm going to share some more apple delight with you. And you can stop now. Our next culinary adventure takes us into the kitchen where we will be using the caramel apple wrap. No fruit is more deserving to be swaddled in a blanket of caramel than the almighty apple. So we're going to open this package and in just 10 minutes, we'll be enjoying the fruits of our labor. I am removing the caramel from its, ooh, paper liner in order to gently wrap the apple. While the apple wraps provided popsicle sticks, we're elevating the experience with bamboo skewers, of which the apples are most deserving because these were not popsicles. These were caramel wrapped apples. My little ones, you are now ready for the oven. Ensconced in a warm 
air chamber, these apples will be ready in no time. So the caramel apple wrap promises fun for everyone. And here she is in all of her glory. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. And it's delicious. This fine little friend is too small to be wrapped in a blanket. So they're gonna take a dip in the baby pool of old fashioned caramel dip. Let's just open the package and see what we have here in store for you. Ooh, a nice deep, dark caramel. Mm. Okay, and we'll just... And you see, rather than drowning the apple in imitation grape flavor, we're gently dipping in to the liquefied caramel. Mm. The tart apple singing in harmony with the sweet caramel is quite frankly amazing. While the caramel apple was fun for everyone, this is truly an elevated experience. Of course, it wouldn't be a food vlog of mine if I didn't give you a bastardized version of the fruit itself. And I'm going with the caramel apple pops. And as you can see, it's in a green wrapper. If we could get a little close up of that, we've got some caramel and it's a green wrapped apple. So. I'm going to say that while it's not chocolate, I was expecting it to be horrific and it's not that bad. Um, I won't be finishing off the bag of caramel apple pops, but I most certainly won't be throwing this one in the trash bin either.